हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज शोमैन फ्रॉम ऑयल एंड गैस फील्ड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल लेट एस स्टार्ट ड्रॉइंग ए सिंपल पाइपिंग सिस्टम इन द हैंड ड्रॉन फिगर यू कैन सी इन योर स्क्रीन एट दिस टाइम वी हैव लेट से टू वर्टिकल टैंक्स एंड वन हॉराइजेंटल टैंक टू बी कनेक्टेड विद पाइपिंग सिस्टम नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट वी हैव टू ट्रांसफर द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ टैंक वन टू other two tanks this is the basic purpose we will need to connect pipes to transfer the fluids from tank 1 to tank 2 and tank 3 now to solve this problem we have just brought the pipes pipes are all straight so how you will connect them so to solve this problem we need pipe components which are called pipe fittings you can see in the cloud i have written that need some bend here and pipes are with different pipe sizes so the bends could not be of the same diam diameter we need to reduce at one end we need to have a bigger connection we need to have some branch connection also here you have seen that we have connected the pipes with some fittings let's say where it is turning we put some elbows where there is branch connection required with different pipe diameters we put t as well as some reducer to connect the smaller diameter pipe with the t there are various types of fittings we discussed in the table before elbows for bends t is for branches reducers for expanding the connection couplings oleds these are all for branch connections anyway the pipes and fittings are in place but the ends yet to be joined with the tank nozzles we now have to complete the end connections these in piping system we called terminal connections so you see there are some end connections we have put so these can be flange joint these can be welded joint so if it is a flange joint we will put some flanges at the end and if it is a welded joint we will prepare the ends with a v and then we will connect with the welding so now it is connected so far it is a nice arrangement but there are no control over the flow from tank 1 to other tanks we need some arrangement to stop the flow if needed to control the flow in the pipeline we need to fit a special component this is called valve there are many types of valve we have discussed some categories based on their construction and functionality those are gate valve glove valve check valve butterfly valve ball valve etc other than these valves another important line component of the pipe line is filter which cleans out the debris from the flowing fluid this is called stainer here we see a more or less functional piping system with valves and strainer installed let us now investigate some aspects of piping flexibility if this tank nozzle expands when the tank is hot in such cases we need to fit a flexible pipe component all the tanks when the temperature changes there is a possibility of expansion so that that time we install a component which is called an expansion joint when some fluid is flowing in the pipe we may also like to know the parameters like pressure temperature flow rates so we need some kind of meter or gauge to know this information we need to install instruments in the pipeline There are various types of instrument to measure various parameters also there are specific criteria for installing various pipeline instruments so you can see here we have installed pressure gauge to have an idea of a pressure then we installed a flow meter where we can see the rate of flow per minute or per second as required here are some pipe supporting arrangements there can be numerous variants all depends on piping designer's preference and judgment so you have seen that we put some turn buckle as a supporting system and the pipe is hanging from the top and there are some bottom support we can put some typical pipe supports over there some of the pipe supports here there are many types but i have only mentioned few over here 
Now we have seen how a piping system has been developed. So if you like the way of my uh, explanation and teaching, please don't forget to share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the like button. Signing off for today, Showman.